Reminder, this video is not made for kids under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, this is Spurs Prime, and today we are taking a look at Transformers War for Cybertron Siege. Commander Clash Jetfire. He's a biggie. Yeah. In his jet mode, he is really big. Really big. He's really huge. And yeah. And yes, he has. He came with these very interesting effect parts you can use. Like, let's remove them for now. Okay. He also got this wing pack thing with a bunch of guns where you put these in there to create all that. And yes, this is mostly his accessories. Remove it, you got your Skyfire mode. And yeah, he is really big. Really big. Again, as you can see, I have currently put on the landing gear. Let's close the thing. And you see handles with that where you're going to put do one of his gimmicks. That is, is that the Autobot grab one of the Autobots or Decepticons and put him in his landing like he, you drop them. Another cool hitting feature if you open up the cockpit and you can remove this this really interesting gribble bit you can have you can put titan masters in there so yeah that's pretty much it for him and now on to the robot mode here is jetfire in robot mode Let's zoom in real quick, and you see that Decepticon brand? Well, if you flip it over, you have his auto brand because they did a gimmick switch. Overall, he is really big and really massive. Yes, you we can zoom out. Really big. Really big. See? Again, head scope is pretty great. You can also do that. Instead of. He has light piping. Let's zoom into his face. I'm going to use my phone for this. It'd be nice if I just turn off the things. You kind of see the light painting really good. But yeah, but anyway, he is give you a how big he is. Here is next to a random, random deluxe figure from the same line, and he is really big. And yeah, for articulation wise, head can rotate 360 degrees, which is you can go up and down. Arms can rotate only that way, only this way. Arms can go forward, rotate, bends of the bicep. Hands can rotate. They can also do this. Okay. He has no weight 
engine they score, they go back, they rotate, they bend one joint, and he has an ankle pivot. A really stiff one. Again, if we remove the remove them, his main accessory in I guess you can call it Skyfire mode. This is double player gun, which you can put his additional flame effects to recreate that he's firing it really far, but yeah. But let's be honest, Jetfire has another mode. Not really another mode. But he has his armor mode. Let's see the additional accessories combined with him. And here he is, the armor mode. As you can see, he got his skin, all his components. By the guns can split into two guns. This became a chest guard. These are become his winglet things. These can be back thrusters. Matter of fact, these can be removed. Again, he got his helmet mask thing that would replicate his G1 Jetfire Glory. And this is his shin guards. These guns or or a set piece but you can put them uh, as regular guns and the fat piece work it perfectly again this is really cool if you're a fan of jet fire yes this is really cool overall yeah my final thoughts on this thing is really he's really cool he's the first time ever bring a new size class. And again, it's Jetfire. They did it again. Well, Jetfire did it. Well, the first time they bring a new size class to the generation lines were the Titan class with Metroplex and the Leader class, which the last time Jetfire was released. Here, this, this is much better. To me personally, I don't use the armor mode. I use the Skyfire mode because this, I don't use the armor all that much. But hey, this is really cool. And yeah, yeah, it is really cool. Jeff R. May started a new side class, but we are also upcoming in the, this just been revealed in the Earth Race toy line, Commander Class Skylinks. He's big, but he's perfectly in scale with your deadest, with your Predator Kings. But this guy, he's really big. So far, I recommend to you pick this guy up if you don't have a Jetfire. He might. That he might be the perfect stand-in for our masterpiece, Jetfire. And he fits perfectly with your C's toys. Again, again, if you see how Starscream doesn't work, if you want to see how he's big between the new, between Forge or C Starscream or the Earthrise Starscream, he's big enough to be be they're both roughly the same Hopefully, he's bigger than him but anyway anyway this first prime scene until 10 but stay tuned tomorrow when we gonna review something special because because it's all we're in another month so let's do a bonus episode. Anyway, bye.